Today I want to share our gender neutral minimalist um, baby nursery with you guys. So so I am currently um, almost 39 weeks pregnant with our first baby. I just realized that I'm <laughs> matching this room which was not intentional. Um, we do not know the gender of this baby so we tried to keep things gender neutral and it is a small space. It's actually also our guest room um, and we do need it to function as a guest room especially in the next few weeks or months. Both my mom and my mother-in-law will be coming to stay with us after the baby comes um, at different times, but, but we obviously want to have a space for them to stay in, and I do not actually expect the baby to sleep in this room for the next several months. We'll probably have it in our bedroom for at least six months, but I still just really wanted a space for the baby. It was important for me that all of their things had their own space and that they were organized and I don't know, I just needed to have a nursery set up. It was like a mental thing for me. We've actually had the nursery done for quite a while now. Um, the past couple weeks have been super dark and like dreary and gloomy and this room gets really beautiful morning light. So I was kind of trying to wait until we had a day with nice light um, to film this video. So finally <laughs> the sun has come back up. So I will show you guys around the, nurs the nursery. So when you first walk in, um, this is what you see, including my dog, <laughs> he's always in here. My husband actually made these shelves, they're similar to the Ikea ones that are really popular but so much cheaper to make ourselves and they were super simple and then I just have a few um, clothing items hanging up here and some books and I really love how these shelves turned out. I think they're super cute. And then I have um, some essential oils. This is doTERRA's kids line of essential oils. They need to be further, they would need to be further diluted for a newborn, but I know that's not everyone's thing, um, but we've been using them for many years and loving them. And then obviously this is just a ultrasound picture of baby and then baby's first book or yearbook thing. Um, and a cute little artwork piece that my mom got us. So I really love these shelves, they're one of my favorite parts. So this is the room, um, like I mentioned it's really little but it works out pretty well and the first thing we did was this green board and batten. It's actually like a wallpaper um, but it's like really textured and I love how that turned out. I have this cute little hanger, this is from like a local store so um, I've already had people ask me where it's from but I can tag it but unless you're like local, it's not even local to me, it's local to my mom. Um, and then we did this built-in closet system and this was one of the things that I really wanted to do because it's a little room and because we have to have the guest bed in here we just didn't really have space for a dresser. I mean I'm sure we could have found space but I just felt like that would be super cluttered so instead we did this whole built-in dresser or built-in closet system. We did the same thing in our bedroom and it just works so well and there's so much space in here. You can see that there's still a whole second shelf um, that we haven't even touched so there's lots of storage space. So hanging up is honestly just like all of my favorite clothes. They're actually arranged in rainbow not in size which isn't super practical. I'm sure that that'll change when baby gets here but these are mostly just sleepers anyway. I didn't really because we don't know the gender everything is gender neutral and honestly it's mostly just sleepers like I didn't really buy um, outfits or stuff. The closest I bought to any sort of outfit is like little sweaters because this is going to be a September baby and we live in Northern Canada so it is cold here in September, October. Um, but yeah, everything is super gender neutral and just like cozy. And then up here is sizes that they can grow into. 
Um, so three to six months, six to 12 months. And then this is all of our cloth diapers. We're planning on cloth diapering after the first few weeks. And then as baby like outgrows their zero to three and newborn stuff, I can swap it with that. And then that stuff can go up there. I think that'll be really convenient. And then over here, um, I think this bin is actually empty. This one is just stuff that I need to go through. Um, we don't even really need that space right now. I just need to like organize that. And then we did really try to be um, minimal with clothing, especially newborn and zero to three because I know they grow out of that so fast. So that is all of our newborn stuff. And then this is all of our zero to three month stuff. So these are all onesies. And then behind is all pants. And I just printed labels off on my computer and then like laminated them. And then on the lower shelves, we just have books, extra books here. Um, and obviously there's space if we get more books. I'm sure that we'll end up with more and more books over the years. Okay, I think my finger was covering the mic in that last little bit of that clip. But what I was saying was that these are just toys. They're mostly all just like hand-me-downs that people gave us. And we do have the mobile that I had as a baby. And my dog is obsessed with this basket. He thinks that all of these stuffies are for him. But that is the closet and that's like all the baby stuff we have basically fits in that space and I think it's going to work out really well for us. And then these are all of my slings and wraps. So these two are wild bird slings and the other two are Sully baby wraps. Um, I'm so excited to wear this baby. I love baby wearing. I've nannied and I have friends with babies and I always, always love baby wearing. So really excited about that, which is why I have like a good collection already. Okay, and then on this side of the room is the guest bed. So my husband actually made this headboard. This used to be our bed. He made this headboard. It was one of the very first things he ever made when we got married. Um, and now he's made a ton of stuff and like done a ton of stuff in our house. But we have the, just the Ikea crib. This one's super popular. I just loved the natural wood color and I love that it's not, it doesn't have any like finishing or paint. So it's super non-toxic. And then I have our Snuggle Me in here. I actually just have a diaper changing pad on this. So FYI, if you have a Snuggle Me, like bassinet covers and diaper changing covers fit these perfectly. And they're like $5 instead of the Snuggle Me covers that are super expensive. And then we have this Cuddle Me Kind doll. This is from my mom. It was one of the very first things that we were gifted for baby and I love it. I think it's so cute. He has like little carrots in his overalls. Um, and then just a blanket here. And like I mentioned, I don't think that we're actually going to use the crib for at least several months. Um, but I don't know, maybe I'll end up putting the baby down in here for like daytime naps occasionally if they like to be kind of more in their own space. Um, I'm pretty open to different sleeping arrangements and we'll just figure out what works for us. And then on the end of the bed here, I have my hope chest that my grandpa made for me several years ago. He made them for all of his granddaughters and it's beautiful. It just has like extra blankets and stuff for the guest bed. Um, just if we have guests, there's like pillows and blankets in there. And then this sheepskin is also from when I was a baby. And then I just have a basket here and these are all of baby's blankets and swaddles and stuff. So everything is pretty simple. Um, I'm still kind of debating if I want to get a rug in here. I don't want to make it feel crowded, but I also feel like it would be nice to have like a nice plush rug and then that could be like a space where baby can play as they get older, um, but I don't know. And then we don't really have anything on the walls. I kind of like it just like really simple in here, but again, who knows, I might change my mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed our nursery tour. Um, I've watched so many of these nursery videos just trying to get ideas and just see how people organize things. I love organization and I love um, home decor and just minimalist, um, simple but functional and beautiful decor. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. But I do plan on sharing a little bit more about how we've organized the rest of our house and we have like a little like bedside nursery in our master bedroom and then how I've prepped for postpartum and meal prepping and stuff. I have some more videos like that coming. Hopefully they will all be up before baby gets here. I think that the baby is probably going to come after my due date because I don't really believe in due dates. So I think that we probably still have a couple weeks until baby's here.
here, but we don't know. It could literally be any day. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you again soon.